Hello and welcome to the next tutorial in Python. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to use the techniques we learnt in the last tutorial and apply them in a slightly different way to make an automatic diary program. So what we're going to do first, we're going to use a similar line of code as last time to open up a file that I've already created. So don't forget, if you don't have a text file already, use Notepad for example to create a blank text file called My Text. And remember to save this text file in the same location, the same folder as your code is going to be saved in, just so that Python can find it and write to it. So open up in append mode. We then make a variable and set it equal to y. Now this is going to be used for the while loop. So we start writing our while loop. We go while the contents of the variable keep going are equal to y, and of course it is because we've just set it up here run the code that's indented inside the loop. So first we ask the person using it what's on their mind. Seems sensible as it's a diary program. The user can enter in whatever's on their mind and it will store it into the variable I've called diary. Next we write the contents of that variable to our text file. We then also write a backslash n to make sure that each entry is put onto a new line in the text file and finally we ask them if they would like to add another entry. Yes or no, Y or N. Now if they enter in Y, keep going then still contains Y, so the while loop remains true because it's Y and they'll be asked again what's on their mind, they can make a new diary entry. Now finally when the person wants to stop writing diary entries for the day they can type in anything else but Y, this then becomes untrue and the while loop ends the file closes. Now obviously we've written to it but it's also useful for the user to be able to read their diary. So here we just ask them would they like to read their diary, yes or no, y or n. We save whatever they've chosen into a variable that I've called option and we check if there's a letter y in the variable option well then we open the text file using read mode r and we read the contents of the file into a variable called var and then we simply print that to the screen. So that will then print the contents of the diary back so the user can read it. Now if they don't choose to read the diary that particular time they can enter in anything else but y. The else block will hit because this is not true. The code will print goodbye to the screen and then um, idle will quit. So there you have it, a quick and easy diary program made from what we learned last time with the addition of a while loop and an if statement to give somebody the choice to read their diary or not. So let's have a look at it. Here we go. So what's in your mind? Feeling good? Would I like to add another entry? Yeah, why not? And still feeling good. Another entry? Nah, not really. That'll do. Would I like to read it? Yes, definitely. There we go. So you can see, I've tested this program a couple of times. You can see it's actually printing back to the screen everything I've entered, including my typo. Oops. But the program is working just as intended. So have a go at this. Make yourself a little program which will do the same. And then, well, if you would like to, what you could do is perhaps change it around a little bit. You could actually have an if statement at the top saying, you know, would you like to write to your diary or would you like to read to it? And depending on what they choose, you either open open up the text file and you know start the while loop off, get them writing to it, or if they don't, you could choose to let them read it. That could be a nice little improvement to this basic program. Well, have some fun, have a play, and see what you can come up with. See you next time. Bye for now.